Hey everyone, I'm going to be reviewing five designer bucket bags, all well under a thousand pounds. I just kind of came up with this idea the other day because I've got really addicted to bucket bags at the moment and you can get a lot for your money. You'll find that out in a minute. But before I uh, show you that, I just wanted to say that I'm going to be doing a giveaway where you can win one of these bucket bags, I'll tell you which one at the end, watch until the end to find out how you can enter and what you need to do. Hey everyone, everything is well under a thousand pounds. I love doing these videos where I think, what can I get for well under a thousand pounds and how cheap can you go before you end up in the dregs or with brands that you haven't heard of? First bag, I'm gonna be doing this in order of price from most expensive down to least expensive. However, I wanna pull this one out first because this isn't the most expensive but neither is it the cheapest. But I'm pulling this out now because this I bought for the best price. I don't know if you can still get this for the price that I paid. This is from Valentino. This is full leather. I think this is, is it calf or lamb? I don't know. If you're familiar with Valentino leather, you'll, you'll probably know what I mean. But it's a very, um, it's a very delicate feeling leather, although I found personally you would expect it to scratch and it doesn't. I have a rock stud bag in silver that I bought a couple of years ago. Again, I got it in a, for a really good price. And the, the softness and uncoatedness of the leather made me think it was going to scuff up something crazy and it hasn't. So this bag I purchased for, I feel like it was 30 or 40% off. The way I did it was that and here's the advert, and actually the saving was completely irrespective of the advert itself. ShopTagger, which is a tool that loads of you have heard me talk about probably for like the last three years. Please don't roll your eyes and get angry with me. It's actually a really good product. And that's how I ended up to save money on this. So ShopTagger, for anyone that's new, it's a free tool that you download to your desktop, but you can also get it on your phone. You create one account and it kind of matches the two things up. And in short, what it lets you do, it's a shopping tool. So once you've downloaded it, whenever you go around the internet and you see something you might like, maybe it's a dress or a bag, if you think, oh, I quite like it, but I don't know if I wanna buy it right now, or if it's a dress and you're thinking, I do want that, but it's out of stock in my size and I wouldn't mind knowing when it's back in, you can click the blue shop tagger button, which you'll be pleased to know you can now move because mine always used to be in the way of the shopping cart icon on every website you can kind of move that up and down now you just click on that and it lets you save your item to your own personal private home page and i personally like to create lists which you can see here and i do that because i tend to bookmark a lot and otherwise it ends up being just one big mess once you've done that shop tagger email you real time if the item is back in stock in your size but the main thing is they email you if ever there's a coupon code that's been launched for the website that that's on and they also email you if it's gone on sale. This wasn't saved to my list. I went onto Louisa Aroma, I added it into my shopping cart, and can you see what happens here? ShopTagger will automatically scan the web for you to look for coupon codes that will work, so you haven't got to fish around and test a whole load that don't work. And on this occasion, it saved me nine, over 900 pounds. I think that on its own demonstrates why this is so good. They've also got, really quickly to mention, they've also got a new uh, cashback. So if you go ahead and purchase your things through the app, you can collect money and it's not credits. You can actually transfer it and then put it into your PayPal account once you've got yourself a nice amount going there. So that's how I ended up getting this. I think because of the price of it, this is possibly one of the best bags I'm gonna show you in this video. Now let's move on to the, what is actually the most expensive and you've already seen this but I'm going to show it again. One of my favourites is this. This is from Gucci. It feels really timeless. Now I know that a lot of you are not into the like major logo thing but I wanted to show it because it's one that I keep going back to. This material is waterproof. It's also pretty scratch resistant as well. Quality of this bag is so good and it fits both of my phones plus everything that I might carry around. Do you remember when I, I wore it a while ago with this outfit, which was, can you see the way it goes in winter as well as summer as well? You can't detach the strap 
across the top. But the strap is like this, so it's kind of, you can wear it, you can adjust it. The drop length adjusts, but this is about the place that it sits normally. And then you can shorten it or you could even, let me just show you it crossbody so that you can see. The next is another Gucci bag. This is actually from the Marmont's range, which I have a kind of love-hate relationship with. I don't love so much the versions that have got the flap over the top, but I do have the belt and I saw this and I thought, I'm gonna give this a try, I'm gonna have a look at it. I've tried Gucci bags before and I find that you are, you kinda get one or two. So you either have the version, you either have the, is it quality, would I say quality of the, the previous Gucci bag that I've just shown you, or you have this where it's lined with a suede, and it also comes with, I've seen this before, it comes with this on the inside, which is detachable, it's got a T-bar on the end of it, but it's quite nice, because it allows you to add your keys to it, or anything really, but I quite like it for adding keys. There might even be money off this at the moment, I actually chose to buy all of this from Louisa Aroma as well because they've got this points thing now where it's a bit like ha the Harrods points actually, the more you spend, the more points you amass and I've just traded in loads of points so that I get free shipping until the end of the year so it, it can add up or you can actually get credits like I had a £300 credit a couple of weeks ago so it, it really adds up. For any of you who are m more petite and you're worried that the drop length of this chain is gonna to be too long for you, or if you just don't like it and you'd like something shorter, the benefit to this chain is that because it's got a T-bar on the end of it, you can remove it and you can change it for something else. A bag that I've had before, I had this in black, I really liked it, I sold it and then I regretted selling it, and it is this. This is from Mansur Gavriel. For anyone who's not familiar with this brand, it's, it's a brand that is premium quality, but it hasn't got a screaming logo all over it. And the quality of the leather is really good, but it also feels weird, but in quite a nice way. So this is the bucket bag. I think they, Mansur Gavriel does a number of different shaped bags, but this one is one that I've always really liked. The leather on it, here's the weird thing. The leather, can you hear that? Let me, let me come closer. Can you hear, can you hear that, that noise? The leather on it's kind of like plastic. No, it doesn't feel like plastic, it feels like leather. But they, they've somehow done something to the leather on this bag where it feels really robust and it doesn't lose its shape. This is the thing, when I had this bag before, it looked, it looked new when I sold it as the day that I bought it. Really hard wearing, really pretty, very good value, roomy on the inside. You can also get, for all of these bags, you can get bag inserts if you want, if you like the bucket bag idea, but you wanna be a bit more organized with it. The price of it's really good as well. This was around about 300 pounds and there might at this point even be money off it. it. Comes in different colors, but I really liked this pink. It's kind of more of a dusky pink as well. Now for the grand finale. The thing that so many of you wanted, and it had sold out, and it's the best value in at 280, possibly, fresh out of the box. So I'm gonna do a giveaway with this, so I'm gonna leave all the tags on. This is the Prada Nylon tote bag this is decent for the money this is really good it has got on it you can actually remove this but so it's nylon but it's got saffiano leather what's the word details is that even the right so for example where the toggles are these have got saffiano leather at the end of them the actual adjustment for the toggle itself is leather as well and then the strap the handle is leather too. This bag is very lightweight. It's a decent brand. The price of it is excellent. I love the look of this. This is why I got it in the first place, back when. It looks so casual, but it looks, it looks really classic at the same time. It looks really chic. There's nothing about it that's too stylized or too on trend. I thought that seeing as this bag sold out the last time, 
I'm gonna do a giveaway with this bag. So for any of you who wanted to win this bag and you didn't get the opportunity to do so, here's how you can win it. And it's open internationally, anyone can enter. So I, I'm gonna do this on Instagram again. I know that some of you find the Instagram thing annoying because you're not necessarily on it. But the reason why I do Instagram is because when I've done competitions on YouTube before, it very rarely have I ever heard back from people that have won. And I, I think it's to do with how frequently people might check their comments or maybe, I don't know, maybe YouTube replies that get emailed to you end up in spam. But also there's no way of DMing anyone on YouTube anymore. So it became very difficult. And so it's easier if I just do it all on Instagram. So go and have a look for this picture. In order to enter the competition, all you need to do is follow me if you like. You don't actually have to. Uh, and then leave a comment under the picture. The one thing I would ask you to do is if you could download ShopTagger and then whoever wins, I will just need you to confirm to me your ShopTagger registered email address. They'll then confirm it and then I will post your prize out to you. A really good lineup of bags though, I thought. There's some really nice things here. Things that you possibly wouldn't realize you can get for the money. I love that when I go on a website and I look at the bags and I just click prices low to high and I just see what's there. I find it really interesting. I want to thank all of you for watching. Good luck in the competition. I'll put details below of when it closes and all of that kind of stuff and I will see you in the next video.